In this video, you will learn about one extremely important grammatical concept in Japanese. Kosoado kotoba. The four letters ko, so, a, do represent the initial letters of many of the daiktic expressions in Japanese. The adjective daiktic derives from the noun daiksis, which denotes the use of words to refer to a specific object, person, place, or time relative to a certain perspective. In English, for example, the personal pronoun I is a deictic expression that refers to the person who is using the word I. The demonstrative word this refers to an object that is in relative proximity to the speaker. And the temporal adverb tomorrow refers to the day after the current day on which the word is used. In Japanese, the relative distance between the speaker and another entity, location, or time can be conceptualized using a three-way distinction – proximal, medial, and distal. The proximal denotes the space near the speaker. The medial usually denotes the space near the addressee or the person to whom the speaker is talking but it can also be used to refer to an entity, place, or time that is considered neither too close to nor too far from the speaker. Finally, the distal denotes the space beyond the previous two. This distinction corresponds more or less to the three-way distinction in grammatical person, that is, first person, second person, and third person. The first three letters of kosoado, that is, ko, so, a correspond to the proximal, medial, and distal, respectively. The last remaining letter, do, is reserved for the unknown. That is, do indicates a question about an unknown entity, place, or time. Now, although there are many different kinds of kosoado phrases in Japanese, in this episode, I'm gonna use one set. Kore, sore, are, dore as an illustrative example. The rest of the Kosoado phrases will be featured in another episode, so stay tuned. Kore, sore, are, dore. These four words are nouns that can refer to objects or animate beings. For example, in the sentence, kore o mite, kore refers to something that is close to the speaker. Sore o mite, in contrast, means that I want the addressee to look at something that is near them. Are o mite means that I want the addressee to look at something that is far from both myself and the addressee. And finally, the question word dore can be used to ask the question, which one? For instance, dore o mitara ii no means which one should I look at out of a number of objects that are present, regardless of their distances from you. Kore, sore, are, dore, however, sound rude if you use them to refer to people. So, if you want to refer to someone in a polite way, I recommend using kochira, sochira, achira, dochira instead. For instance, kochira wa Tanaka san desu can be used to introduce someone named Tanaka who is standing near you in a polite way. Achira ga Tanaka san desu, in contrast, points to a person who is far from both the speaker and the addressee. The question, sochira wa donata desu ka, uses the medial Sochira to ask the addressee about the person who is standing near the addressee. And finally, the question, Dochira ga Tanaka san desu ka? can be used when there are two or more people in front of you and you don't know which one is Tanaka san. One point of caution about Kochira, Sochira, Achira, Dochira, however, is that, as I will explain in a future episode, these words can also signify places and directions. Kochira, for example, could mean this place or in this direction, depending on the context in which the word is used. Finally, kore, sore, are, dore can also refer to more abstract things. For instance, in zō wa ōki, watashi wa sore o shitte iru. Sore refers to the fact expressed by the first sentence, namely the fact that elephants are large. This is the end of this episode. In the next episode, you will learn more Kosovo phrases.